to episode 20 of Gal and Kitten Knitten. As always, we are so excited to talk and chat with you today. And thank you if you're a returning viewer. We're so happy to see you. And if you're a new viewer, welcome. And you, we hope you enjoy hanging out today. Absolutely. Um, we are in a different location. We are in Texas for a wedding. Our husbands are uh, in the wedding, and so we had some time today, and we decided to film an episode in our hotel room mm -hmm. before we go to the wedding this evening. So Absolutely. That's what we're up to today. Yep, taking taking as much time as possible to uh, get an episode in here and there when we see mm -hmm. each other. So right. Uh, we we decided we would try to record this episode while we had an opportunity to. So yeah. Uh, hence the the venue change. So <laughs> um, I am Chelsea also known as Gal Knits Yarn on Ravelry and Instagram or Gally Albia on Twitter. Um, you can find me at any of those three platforms. I am pretty much on Ravelry and Instagram most of the time, um, less so on Insta or less so on Twitter. Um, but anything that I post on Instagram automatically goes over to Twitter. So if you want to follow me there, please feel free to do so. And I'm Heather. Um, I am Space Kitten 3000 on Instagram, Ravelry, and Twitter. Um, I'm most active on Instagram, obviously. Um, mostly pictures of my knitting and my dog. <laughs> so, dog <mom>. yeah. <laughs> dog mom. Yep, dog mom for sure. So, um, last episode, Gal had all the FOs. And today, I have all the FOs. I've got a lot of FOs. So I'm just gonna start with the most exciting one. Um, I finished my Once in Floral by Max Sire. I'm still not sure how to say his last name. We gotta Seriously, figure that. I, I know. So I'm sorry, Max, I, I don't think you're watching, but. Um, so this is my sweater. Yeah. Isn't it gorgeous, you guys? And it probably, ha I wore it on Thanksgiving, so it has like my mom's cat hair on it. Probably has gypsy hair on it too, but her hair is black, so you wouldn't be able to see it. But mom has a great cat. But um, yeah, I love it. I wore it on Thanksgiving to my mom and dad's house, and it fit really well. Um, it was quite um, nice because my uh, some of my family members could not believe that I made it. Like my sister-in-law, who is so sweet, I love her so much, Lisa, she had to take a picture of me in my sweater so she, she could show the people at her work that I made this sweater. So it was really sweet and um, it was really nice. Um, but yeah, I love it. Um, it fits really well. The uh, the puckering at the neck that I was worried about, you can't really, it's not, you can't, nobody would even know. And I don't even think knitters would really be like, oh my gosh, that's so, you know. It, it's fine. It lays pretty flat. So I really love it. And um, yeah, that's all. I really like it. <laughs> and uh, I, you know, I feel, uh, ooh, I got, I wove in my ends and they're like sticking out on the other side. Oops. So yeah, I gotta do something about that. But I feel uh, really like proud of this knit. I think it's like uh, the most it's not complicated but it I don't know what I'm it's technical yes it's the most technical thing I've knit and I think it turned out really well so I'm really proud of it so that's done do you want me to just keep going sure okay I don't have any FOs this time so this is all your show today okay so the next thing I also showed on the last episode um was my sock head hat and I finished it and it's real cute. I like it a lot. I uh, like it better than the last one I knit because I actually followed the pattern this time. And uh, I did the big brim and it's folded and I did it, uh, the last one I didn't do was slouchy. And um, I like this one a lot better. Good. So the pattern was right. So, uh, this has kind of become the hat. I, in the fall and winter, I have like this big pouch that I keep in my purse because I basically use a tote bag as a purse. And I um, usually keep a hat and some mitts 
in this pouch that I have. And so this is the one I've just been keeping in my purse. So if I'm out and about or something like that, um, this is the one I've been keeping in there. So I've worn it a few times. What yarn did it. you use? Oh yeah, I used Lambstring's yarn in her Tralala sock in the Relax It's Just Magic colorway. Uh, and it's very pretty. And Relax It's Just Magic is a line from the craft, and I love that brand. So yeah. Relax It's Just Magic. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I finished that. Then I finished my husband's Madcap beanie by, let me look at my notes, by Amy Stringer, the Madcap Beanie. I feel like my hair is weird because I put on that hat. So I finished this, and this yarn is a homespun house soft sock in rose gold. And that's it. I really like that detail in there. Is that just pearl bumps? It's, uh, you do a row of rib, and then you do a row of, Knit and Knit. pearl. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Anyway. So, that's really cute. This is for my husband. I'll go ahead and try it on, though. He got a bigger head, so it's kind of stretched out. But he doesn't fold the brim up. He kind of just wears it like that. And it's super slouchy. And he's been wearing it. That and looks he... so cute. On <laughs> I kind of want to make one for myself. Um, But, yeah. Like, you could fold the brim up if you wanted to. Um... But yeah, it's, uh, he's been wearing it and he really, really likes it. He's really happy with the color and the uh, fit of it and everything. So that's a finished one. I don't have a picture of him. I haven't taken a picture of him wearing it, but I want to so I can post it on my Ravelry. I have a, I just have a picture of the finished hat, but I don't have like, it's one of my hairs on it. Yep, got it. <laughs> <clears throat> and then the last thing is another hat and I think this is the fastest I've ever knit anything ever I had this done in I think two days and it is the uh Cathedral Grove hat by again I need to look at my notes um Faye Kennington and it's a color work hat and it's with worsted weight and I used Wool of the Andes Knit Picks in black. I don't remember what this off-white color is. I, I want to say oyster, but I'm not sure if that's right or not. And then this orange color is Rubius, I think. Um, but yeah, it's just Knit Picks uh, yarn. And I'm counting it as finished, but I have to weave in my ends. I haven't done that. And also, I was not sure if I was going to put a pom-pom on it or not. They show in the pictures, they show a pom-pom that's made out of whatever you do the brim in. And so I wanted to block it and try it on before I decided I want if I wanted to do a pom-pom or not. Mm. And I decided I do. So I haven't put the pom-pom on it yet. I haven't even made the pom-pom but I'm going to in this kind of orangey brown color. And I like this hat. The knit was so easy and I had no trouble with my tension in this at all. And it knit up really fast. I don't think it fits me the best. I made a size small, but I originally cast on a size medium and it seemed way too large. Mm -hmm. And I didn't really want it to be super slouchy because of the color work. So I, I ripped that out. I was only, you know, a couple rows in and I did a small and it is kind of funny cause it's blocked. So it has these like ridges cause I just blocked it flat. So it's going to look kind of funny, but I just don't think it fits me. No, I think it's fine. The best, best. You do? Yeah, I think it's fine. Okay. Maybe I was just being hard on it. Yeah. No, I think it's fine. But I think it'll look cute with a pom-pom on it. You know what I think you also might do? What? What did you block it on? A blocking mat. Okay. What you might do is come over and block, block it on the on my on my blocker, my yeah. hat blocker. 
make it more round uh-huh. and not flat. I think right. that has something to do with it too. Um, but anyway, I think it's really pretty. And I don't know if you can really tell, but these are trees. So there's like the trunk of the tree and then the branches going up. So I love this design. I think it's so pretty, so, so pretty. And I'm just gonna put, I brought my yarn because I didn't know if I'd have time to put a pom-pom on it. But there'll be a big pom-pom, like, not that big, but there'll be a pom-pom. And that'll look super pom-pom cute. That big. I couldn't. I've never made a pom-pom. I've made tassels, but I've never made a pom-pom. So I'll have to look up a tutorial on how to do that. So yeah, that's my last FO, three hats. I've been on a hat kick. And that awesome sweater. So that's what... That's what I've been up to. And yeah, it took me like two days. And I was only knitting in the evenings because I did it during the week. I think I started it on the 9th and I finished it on the 12th. So maybe three days. Still. Ooh, that's still pretty fast. I don't think I've ever knit anything that fast. Yeah. So, yay. That's it. Nice. Those are my FOs. Nice. So into whips. I've got a few on the needles right now. Um, I don't remember if I had cast on the, uh, I don't remember Weekender if you had or not. last time around, but I cast on the Weekender by Andrea Mowry. Um, this is where I'm currently at on that. So I've got, I don't remember how many inches left to do. I think seven inches left to do before I can split for the, um, shoulders or the arms. So... Uh, the pattern calls for a tubular cast on. I hate tubular cast ons. I have such a difficult time with them. I tried to do a tubular cast on and I had one, but I was two stitches short and I was like, forget this. I am not doing it. So I ripped it all out after I had to do something with the pattern. And so I just did a regular cast on long I've tail. I've never done a tubular cast on. It's a pain in the butt. I've only <laughs> ever successfully done it once. Um, but I did try, I tried a couple of times and finally just gave up the ghost. Um, so that was the first one by Andrea Mowry. Uh, the second one, and I'm kind of flying through this a little bit because we've got to get going for the wedding. Um, <laughs> so we're just kind of fitting this in here. Mm-hmm. This is the dudester scarf. And it's kind of difficult to tell the, uh, I don't know if that helps or not. You can kind of see it on the side You can kind of see it there. now, yeah. yeah. There's some pattern in there. Um, but that's the dude's store scarf, and I'll have to put up who it's by up here because I don't have my notes. Um, I was bad and didn't do notes this go around, so yeah, I'm kind of flying by the seat of my pants. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's for my grandfather for Christmas, so I just started that the other day, and I've got a ways to go. Um, and then finally by Max Sire, and I know I had this on the needles last time, uh, the, um, Snuggle Cowl, the Snuggle is Real Cowl, I am on the inside of it, and I changed the yarn that I'm going to do on the inside, uh, because I realized the yarn that I had wasn't going to work, uh, due to the instructions, so... I changed the yarn that I put on the inside of it, and that's where we're at, is on the inside. Because you were going to do a green, right? I was going to do a green. Oh, that's a little chili pepper. Where'd you get that at? I think I got that from DFW Fiber oh, Fest. That's cute. It was I was one of looking the stitch... at her little progress, yeah. or stitch marker. A little it's a chili little pepper. pepper. Anyway, um, yeah, and then this Heather gave me a little golden snitch. Golden snitch progress keeper I had I need to move it um yeah so that's where I'm at in those making progress on all of them but that's all I've got on my needles right now the only thing I have on my needles and I literally cast it on after I got done with that hat because I wanted something to bring to Texas because I didn't have anything else that I was working on so I was like I just need to cast on something um in case I have time to knit in Texas so I cast on socks and uh, they're just vanilla socks and all I have is this little cuff. That's it. What color and are you doing? I am doing it in die is cast yarn. 
I was doing a shawl in this and I ripped the shawl out because I wasn't feeling the shawl. The hidden staircases shawl or something mm-hmm. that I showed a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago. And I, is this colorway called like sangria? I didn't write it down and I don't have it. That sounds down. right actually. Like sangria or something like that. I don't remember. But the maker is uh, Die is Cast. And so it's these reds and purples and kind of grays. So I ripped out the shawl and I wasn't very far into it and I was really actually feeling that I wanted to make socks so yeah so that's what I did I just got the tiny little bit and I haven't knit one stitch since yesterday when we got here so um but yeah that's the literally the only thing I have and um I actually you guys know that I don't really keep a big stash of yarn or any stash hardly at all and I'm kind of at the point where I need to buy some more yarn. Oh gosh. <laughs> gosh darn. What are we gonna do? I have to buy some yarn. Darn. Um, which kind of brings us into the queue because I'm still planning on <clears throat> making the uh Mira by Justina Borkowska. Yes. And uh I, you know, I'm still planning on making that with the yarn I have. I just didn't want to cast that on on Thursday because it was going to take too long and I knew it wasn't going to be a knit that I could do while I was visiting with people or Mm -hmm. um, we weren't sure how long the rehearsal dinner was going to take last night, so, which I forgot my knitting anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. (laughs) Um, But, uh, so I didn't want to cast that on. I still plan on doing that, but really that's the only thing I have in my queue because I um, don't have any yarn. I don't have any other yarn currently. So um, my birthday is coming up. My birthday's Christmas Eve and Christmas is coming up. So um, I might uh, get some yarn for my birthday or Christmas, maybe. So, nice. Yep, that's all for me. So talking about Q, um, I know we kind of had talked about some things that we were interested in doing before. So I think for what, what we'll do for this time, since uh, we haven't really delved deep into our notes, don't have notes at all, um we're going to do our top nine for 2020 um that we'll post on instagram and then i'll also put in here um for you to take a look at and uh we'll hopefully be working on those in 2020 now they are obviously subject to change based upon our whims (laughs) and new patterns coming out and other things that you know people are working on so i'm sure that they will change but you know I think that there will be several that we are, you know, going to yeah. to actually tr- attempt to get done. Yeah. So, yeah. So, anyway, so we'll put that in here, and I think that's all that we have for you today. So, super short episode. Yep. Sorry, um, it was kind of rushed. Like we said, we were trying to fit it in before we have to get dressed and go. But we wanted to give you guys a little bit of something before we went off for the holiday break. Um, and we hope you guys have a... Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and we love all of you guys. Thank you so much for the support that you show us every time. We love your comments, so keep them keep them coming because we love answering them and replying to them. And you know, give us a thumbs up so that helps other people like us and find us, and um, you know that really helps us as well. And thank you so much again. Yeah. Happy knitting. Happy knitting.